Then any question and what we need to revise? We still have the last step is the offline exams. Yes, Inez. Uh, yes, it's the same idea as Blackboard and Moodle test. The only difference is that Blackboard has a student into and for it, yeah. <laughs> like their names, ID, etc. ZipGrade is very useful when the test is not online or don't have access to Blackboard or Moodle. Yeah, it could be, yeah, 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 that's correct. Yeah, the main difference here that if the exam is offline, then it will be better to use the ZipGrade. Yeah, since you have a uh, uh, already Blackboard and Moodle, if you have Blackboard or Moodle, then it will be, yeah, that's correct. Then uh, I will revise with you, okay? The steps is important here. Then, if you remember, we started with creating a class in ZipGrade, is to create a class. Okay, then we move to add a student to this class. This is step number two. Then step number one, step number one is to create the class, to add any class. And to add a student for this class, we use to import the student from CSV file or you can add a new student manually. Okay, you can add manually, but it will take time, more time if you add it manually. And the third step is to add an answer sheet, customized answer sheet for each exam paper. Okay, then after the answer sheet, we create the quiz. New quiz. You create a new quiz. And for this quiz created, you will add testing options. You have two types of submission, online submission. Both are online submission. You have the verified submission and the open submission. For the verified submission, you have to create a new quiz assignment, which is important here. And the student has the option to submit the exam, in this case, to, through the student portal. Any question? Yeah, uh, the lecture is recorded, yeah. Yeah, correct. After finished, you, we will, uh, it will be sent to you, the link, yeah. The link will be sent to you on WhatsApp, yeah. Now I cannot uh, send you the link since we didn't finish recording. Okay. They will send you the link uh, on WhatsApp, yeah. <clears throat> when the, uh, when finish recording, it will be sent to you on WhatsApp, yeah. Uh, what make the difference here, as you said, that when you are doing exam offline on paper, then it is better to use the grid in this case. Okay. And uh, yeah, the link, yeah. The link of the recording will be sent to you on WhatsApp. Okay. Then uh, what I need here is to show you something else here. If we come back to our classes, You have answer sheet packet here for your class. 
and uh, if you wish for this answer sheet for midterm midterm one this is the final okay i will click on this one and you can save it as a pdf file okay this answer sheet if i open it now as you can see it is ready for your student for offline exam as you can see it is printed with the name already and the class name and the student id is already done for your student then you can print this paper and distribute it and give it to your student during the exam it is already done they don't need to put their names and it is already done here i think it look amazing since it is ready with the student name okay i have a 20 is already done okay it's already done how you can find this idea you can get it from here from your class answer sheet packets you click on this one and you can download the answer sheet ready uh, with the student name printed on it how you can find this is ready for the student and uh, you can archive all your classes if when you finish the semester you can archive this and you can edit the student roster here if you want to change and you have the grade book here report you have a grade book report we already have for this student the grade it is submitted for your student it is submitted here okay and what options we have here also for your classes then we have the grade book report and the archive and also you can print this one to give all the students access code for example you can give this is to save and i will show you okay this is the access instruction for the student portal for each student you can give the page each page for each student this is the access code for your each student okay and what we have else here as information you have a tag report here also we have used these tags how to add tags you have here tags you can add the tags for your exams for example we have 
that's a final uh, practical project you can add from here. You can add a new tag, for example, theoretical. and save tag. These are how to add tags. You can uh, delete tags. I have used these tags for quiz one here, quiz and the quiz here. It is used, okay? You can delete any one. For example, I will delete this one. Okay, since it is not used. And uh, For student, for each student, you can, for example, for this student, papers and sessions. Okay, this is a graded papers. I have this graded paper for this student, for example. And uh, this is the final. And this is paper also the same. Okay. This is a scanned image, for example. And this is the answering. And the result for this student. Okay. Okay. Any question till now? We will uh, have after the break. We will have this uh, offline exams after the break still have the offline, offline exams after the break. We will create after the break the offline exam and see how to uh, scan the images using the mobile device, okay? Any question? Okay, this is how then what we have created till now is we added a class, we added a student, we created the quizzes, uh, and we have two types of online submission, open submission and the student portal submission, verified submission. Okay, that's all till now. Okay, let's go for a break. We finish this part. I, I have go through all the feature of the online submission till now. Okay, we will go for break and we will come back at 7.30. And we will discuss how to <coughs> submit the offline exam. <coughs> 